As John Quincy Adams once said, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Good morning to everyone joining us today. On this day, we at Candor officially invest power and authority to the Student Council. But it does not end there. When we look at the Student Council we have elected, we aspire to see them guiding us to taking the path through which we can thrive, because we have also invested our confidence in them. With that, I take this opportunity to welcome the distinguished dignitaries for this special event. Our notable chairman, Dr. Suresh Reddy, Director of Curriculum, Ms. Madhvi Reddy, Director of Operations, Mr. Naresh Reddy, our principal, Ms. Kavita Sinha, the Dean of Administration, Mr. Shridhar, our coordinators, Mr. Gaurav, Ms. Anjana, Ms. Kala, Ms. Rona, and of course, we welcome you, dear teachers, parents, and students, to the investiture ceremony of 2022 to 2023. We are your hosts, Aryan and Rupert. The highest education is that which does not merely give information but makes us in makes our life in harmony with all existence, said Rabindranath Tagore. An inspirational quote leading us to an inspirational moment. The flame that burns perpetually enlightens individuals with knowledge and signifies purity, goodness and power. On that note, I would like to call upon our notable chairman, Dr. Suresh Reddy, Director of Curriculum, Ms. Madhubi Reddy, Director of Operations, Mr. Naresh Reddy, Dean of Administration, Mr. Sridhar, and our principal, Ms. Kavita Sinha, for the lighting of the lamp. Thank our dignitaries and request you to take your seats. Let us begin this ceremony by seeking the blessing of the Almighty Lord with a prayer song. I request Mother Lord to grace this occasion with a prayer song.
months, their purpose is not to get to a certain place on the floor, it's to enjoy each step along the way. In that spirit, we now have an invocation dance.
commend you for taking up this responsibility. Today is a momentous day in your student life as you will take an oath to shoulder the responsibility of the Cambodian Student Council. You will fulfill your election manifesto and strive to bring out the best to display the core values of the school. You will make your alma mater proud of you and collaborate with humility to achieve the school vision. Passion, teamwork and social skills are the three essential qualities for possess to be effective. You can learn how to use these qualities into your student council and put your best foot forward. In the words of the great leader Nelson Mandela, a leader is like a shepherd. He stays behind the flock, letting the most nimble go ahead. After that, the others follow, not realizing that they are being directed from behind all of us. Please put your self-interest behind you and work to help others with great passion and humility. Each individual has some talent and a good leader will know how to harness these talents to achieve the common goal. Leaders instill in the people a hope for success and a belief in themselves. Positive leaders empower people to accomplish their goals. Teamwork is key to success and work towards making Candor International, International School reach greater heights in sports, music, theatre, academics and overall holistic development of every category. A good leader takes a little more than his share of the blame, a little less than his share of the credit as says Elmont. Once again, congratulations to you and wishing each one of you a great year ahead wherein you can achieve your aspiration. Congratulations, the new student council. Thank you. Thank you for those wise words, Ms. Kapita. Now, we would like to invite our chairman, Dr. Suresh Reddy, to share a few words. Your vote does indeed make a difference. 
today the new council is taking a vote and i have a few word of advice for you you have gone through this easy part of nominations and elections now the tough part is as elected member you will be res responding and students all of candor and such as your actions your words speak for all the students not just you remember this very well in all that you say and you do as a good leader demonstrate how to behave perform task and do the work in the way that motivates and encourage others to follow leadership is less about you and more about the people you are representing and leading listening understanding and working together is very important we have to lead them by example the vision of candor the ip and kpi profiles you see the display the campus should be the guiding path for you congratulations once again the new council members i would like to thank all the staff and student council committee we have worked on the nomination to elections the formation of 2022 student council thank you our principal ms kavita sinha for motivating and leading the team i would like to also thank our sft and administration team for the support and strength of the candor i wish you all the best thank you Now, the moment we have all been anticipating for the installation ceremony for the student council of 2022 to 2023. This year, the student council has a new position, the board of house prefect. We would like to begin by calling the old student council to pass on their legacy to the current student council members. We kindly request our audience to refrain from clapping.
We are in our request, our chairman, Dr. Suresh Shetty, and our principal, Ms. Kavita Sinha, to come up on stage and do the honors. We request, we kindly request our audience to refrain from clapping, as this is a very solemn occasion. First, we have the PYP captain, Nithika Thomas, a strong independent leader. She looks forward to take her strengths and lead the PYP along with her fellow council members and friends. Enthusiasm is his motto. He reflects his character onto all his friends. A perfect quality for support and to be a pillar along with his captain and friends.
We now have Parinita, the PYP Aspen House captain, a knowledgeable girl who believes that each one is unique and her quality to support everyone to bring out their best makes her a favorite leader among all. We now present Mansi Reddy, the Aspen House captain, who looks forward to representing the students with her leadership and creativity skills. She hopes to give all students a platform to express themselves. Aspen House Vice Captain Sanjay Day, who combines skin creating intelligence with refreshing spontaneity. Next up, we have Shravya, the PYP Senior House Captain. Her creative mind and sense of breaking down a problem perfectly suits her to lead her house through all. Next is Tuhina Mohanty, the senior house captain, a positive, open-minded individual who firmly believes that everyone has the same rights and that possibilities extend beyond the classroom. Next, we call upon Anirudh EA, the senior house vice captain, a hard working individual. Along with a win for his house, he also wants to give back to his fellow Canadians and make sure they have a cherishable and fruitful year. Coming up now is Lalit Reddy, the PYP Maybe House Captain. He is soft spoken on the outside but reflects the character of a brave heart. Lalit's ability to empathize and understand reflects his great leadership skills. Next in line is the Maple House captain, Anirudh Anil, who with a determined zeal is looking forward to taking on this coveted position and put his heart and soul into pushing his team forward. Now we have 
especially Vignesh, the Nepal House Vice Cap, whose hobbies include dancing and sports. She looks forward to creating new bonds and getting to know each and every one of you this year. Next in line is Ishan Sinhal, the PYP Oak House captain. His enthusiasm in sports and performing arts makes him an all-rounder. A strong leader with a positive attitude and great sportsmanship. Next, we present Harshan Raj, the Oak House Captain, a self-work, self-confident, self-motivated and positive thinker. Harshan believes that everyone should have the opportunity to become whoever they want to be. Next, we present Lipika Shami Raj, the Yoga's Vice Captain, a tenacious, open minded, and cheerful person who is willing to take one step backwards to later take two steps forward. Next, we have Anushka Ra, the editor, a creative and compassionate person with the ability to lead a group. Full of ambition, she loves working with the team and looks forward to making Meraki, the school magazine, a buzzing place. We now present Denisha Tiwari, upholding the position for alumni and outreach this year. She is graceful, pragmatic and ambitious. She aspires to create a successful lifestyle for herself and works relentlessly towards it. Coming up next is the position that is making its debut in the Student Council. We have Aditi Bhatta, the boarding house prefect. Aditi Bhatta is dedicated, friendly and outgoing. She is considered about others and very accommodating. Lastly, we have Dhruva Ravindran, the boarding house prefect. He is considerate about his juniors at Canada's boarding house and looks forward to guiding them at their home away from home. Thank you, Ms. Kavita. A round of applause for our young lady. We 
requests Ms. Madhavi Reddy, Ms. Naresh Reddy, and Mrs. Sridhar to come up on stage for a quick photograph. We now request everyone to stand for the school song.
Please take your seats. We request the PYP captain, Natika Thomas, to say a few words. My honorable. A very good morning to everyone addressing here. I'm Arman Rai, your head boy. I'd like to start this speech with a question I kept reiterating to myself throughout the whole process of the student council elections. Is this personal? How badly do I want the role of head boy? To answer these questions, yes, absolutely, it was personal. To give everyone here a small backstory about myself. Back in my junior year, say from 5th to 9th grade, I was never a student whom one would consider ideal. Rather, I was a menace. To me, school back then was just sports. Was I good at the sports? Yes, I was brilliant. I represented my school in almost every sport. And I've also got to play state level in some, and I've also won gold in some. Naturally, this led to me bunking my classes to go play with my seniors, never doing my homework, to put it in simple words, not ideal. However, there was one thing that I always had, that was impeccable determination. Whatever I put my mind to, I got it done. My previous school environment were ones in which I never felt like I belonged, hence I was never determined to do well in school. But there was always one thing which I had utmost respect for, and that was the student council. I still remember in seventh grade, I saw the head boy at that time and smiled at him, shake his hand, and introduced myself. I was met with a firm handshake and a smile that can brighten a day. And ever since then, I wanted to be in his shoes. I wanted to be a head boy. Now that I am a head boy, I can only imagine the younger Orhan's reaction to me being on the stage right now. He'll be over the moon. Now it is an absolute honor and privilege to be representing Candor as his head boy. And there are people that I have to thank for my journey here. First off, a special thank you to Ms. Anjana, my coordinator. She was the one who made me apply for this role. I wanted to just focus on my 12th in university. But Ms. Anjana had different plans for me. Uh, which I now realize was the correct plan for me. Ms. Anjana 
You're a special creature in my life, and thank you for all the support and kindness. Now that I mentioned me in my previous schools, I never felt like I belonged. However, it's different with Kandor. Ever since I stepped foot on the campus, scrap that. Ever since I gave my first interview during my admissions, I still remember vividly. It was with Miss Anjana and a previous principal, Miss Amita. I felt something click, uh, and I felt like I belonged here. Ever since coming to Kandor, I have been a more motivated person, and Kandor has developed me in countless ways as a human being. Hence, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the senior management that act as pillars which uphold Kandor as the school it is. Thank you, Dr. Suresh Reddy, our chairman. Thank you, Ms. Madhavi Reddy, our director of curriculum. Thank you, Mr. Naresh, the director of operations. Thank you, Mr. Shridhar, the dean of administration. And thank you to all the coordinators and our one and only principal, Ms. Kavata. Coming to the end of my speech, I'd like to give a statement. And this statement is a phrase which I hold dear and implement in my day-to-day -day life. It's not about getting 100%. It's about giving your 100%. Now this is a phrase that I want to represent the Student Council this year. To all my Kandorians, us, the Student Council, we can assure you that 100% of your wants and interests will be met. But what we can wholeheartedly assure you is that we will give it all 100%. Uh, wishing for a fruitful year ahead as this year's, uh, for this year's student council. Once again, thank you, and I hope everyone here has a wonderful day. Thank you, thank you, everyone. We call upon Ankita Ghosh, the head girl, for her remarks. Good morning everyone, I'm Rashi Nayo from DP2. I would like to start by thanking our senior 
management team, Dr. Suresh Reddy, Ms. Madhavi Reddy, Mr. Naresh Reddy, Mr. Sridhar, our principal, Ms. Kavita Sinha, our coordinators, Mr. Gaurav, Ms. Anjana, Ms. Kiran, and Ms. Rona, for being major pillars of our journey as Cambodians. We appreciate Mr. Ashok, Mr. Jobi, Mr. Ramachandra, and Mr. Peter's efforts in organizing the logistics of this event with the help of housekeeping and security. We thank our student council coordinators, Mr. Libin and Ms. Davina, and the faculty for their continuous help and support. This event would not have been possible without you. Lastly, thank you to all the parents and students for your encouragement. I would like to end this with a quote. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Thank you all, and I wish the new Shukuru Council all the best. Use this. 
go for the left. No problem. Call anyone. The number. Corruption. The live look. Yes. 
We request the teachers to accommodate them for their classes.